G'day guys, welcome back to yet another Game Day Squad update for the 2023 final series. You're probably wondering what? The, the season's finished. Why were you still making a Game Day Squad update? All the fantasy leagues have finished, haven't they? Well, you're wrong. Cool thing about Game Day Squad, it is the only fantasy platform that is going to be continuing through the 2023 AFL Final Series, which is a cool aspect. Obviously, fantasy and super coach, as far as I'm aware, they're not doing that. And it's an interesting concept as well, because theoretically, everyone has more players because they've been opening footy packs and accumulated footy packs in the background, which means that there are actually tons of options to switch into your best 22, which is what today's video is about. I'm going to be trying to assemble my best possible side for the 2023 AFL Final Series. It will get tricky. Obviously, there's only two games in week two, three, and four, but we'll worry about that. We'll cross that bridge when it comes to it. So today, what we're gonna do is try and get my team up to scratch as quickly as possible. The other cool update that is part of the game day squad experience, if you like, is that there is also an AFLW component as well now. So as you can see, I've opened up all my starter packs and I have assembled my best 22. Obviously, they're all bronze at the moment, so I'm well below the salary cap, but it's just a starting team. And then I'm gonna build that over the course of the season. So if you follow AFLW, get around it. Cool, so here we are looking at the uh, the standings, I guess, in the True Footy League, full of 159 people. Thank you for jumping on board, guys. It's still not too late. The earlier you do this game, because it carries on from season to season, the earlier you join in and sign up uh, for free, the better stead you'll be in uh, for 2024, of course, as well, because you've got four weeks of finals uh, to still accumulate your players and packs, etc., and like that, and there's also weekly prizes as well. But we'll have a look at uh, the season rankings. I am still in eighth. We've still got Peanut Butters, who is the minor Premier, if you like. So before the finals take place, Peanut Butters is leading the competition in the classic, and then we'll go to the champion, and that is Mardo's Magicians once again. So no surprises there, no changes there. Let's have a look how round 24 went for, uh, I think we had different winners. We had Free Tate. Uh, he's been a consistently good scorer this year. Mardo's Magicians came second. I came 11th in the champion league with 23.49, and I have a salary cap team. So uh, I'm pretty happy with that. I'll give myself a pat on the back. How did I go in the the classic league this week. I came ninth. Okay, interesting. I'm happy with that. Top 10 consistent finishes this year. Um, that's not too bad. I really feel like I've come a long way this year. Um, I've gotten a lot better at this game and I've uh, strategically understand it a lot more. For a start, you know, just not having too many golds and platinums, you know, balance it out with quality silver players. It's, it's a good strategy. Cool, so I don't have any uh, packs to open for you as such in this video, but what we're gonna do is just quickly review how my team went. Uh, 23.49, that's a, that's a really good score. I'm actually really happy with that. Um, but we'll look and see who the best performers were, and then we will make some changes to try and get this team round uh, or week one of the finals ready. So I, uh, you know that I had a nostalgia pick of Shannon Hearn, score 140 for me as a platinum player. Uh, no regrets, he's a star. Sad to see him go. Tom Stewart was big, obviously Geelong's out now. Uh, Newman turned up, Sicily did well. Well, in fact, they all turned up. So uh, Luke Ryan, again, relatively quiet by his standards, but Sicily and Duggan were pretty damn good. I only have one defender there who is playing finals. Great. This is going to be a fun video. Then we'll look at the midfield and uh, similarly, not a lot of finalists in my team there. Trelaw, I finally got him in in a week where he went large, 154. Laird, Miller, Green, and Oliver. Oliver, that's not a great score considering his goal. What did he actually score? He scored 114. That's not too bad. 24 touches. Lockie Neal's been consistent. Again, I had the wrong Ruckman on the field. I, uh, what are their averages now? They've really evened up, but uh, 118 is not too bad. Taranto, since I bought him, has uh, gone downhill, unfortunately. So hopefully that's not a sign of things to come. I was right about Oscar Allen. I uh, got him in my team. I knew he was going to do well. Kicked four goals, scored 94. Happy with that. Taron Thomas has uh, finished uh, the year off really well. He's had a really good back end of the year. And uh, yeah, Connor Rosie within 196, that's also pretty huge. So that is a uh, pretty good going from my team. So this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna start weeding out players that are not playing in finals. And I feel like I'm gonna have some salary cap left over, but let's start with, well, the defense, like where to start. Shannon Hearn is the clearest option there. And I have to look at which players are going to be playing finals. Dan Houston comes to mind. That's a no brainer, get him into the team. Now I have to place, replace Tom Stewart. This is interesting. Okay, so obviously Dylan Stevens uh, as a defender, that's a pretty good option, but he is, what is he? Is that like, that's not even platinum, that's diamond. My goodness. So he's expensive. I have to bear that in mind. It might not matter, but Dylan Steven is the, uh, Stevens is the most clear option there. Caden Young's out of finals. Who else we got? We got Burn Jones. Uh, he might have to be in, to be honest. Got a couple of Burn Joneses. Uh, I've got a couple of Newmans. I don't know if I can use both. Isaac Cumming, Nick Haynes, uh, he was pretty quiet, I think. Oh, Sinclair, so let's get Sinclair straight back into this team. Sicily's gotta come out. Uh, who else we got down here? I'll go check out the bronzes. 
Here we go. So Isaac Cummings, like I said, Sam Taylor. Uh, oh, he was a laid out. That's right. I didn't play this week. My God, I really don't have too many options here. Uh, let's see what happens if I put Newman in. All right, Isaac Cummings, you are... You are playing. I don't think Dacos is going to be fit, but I might just put him in the side because I don't have enough players, to be honest. Dylan Stevens might have to crack a game for me. This is going to be expensive. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll allow myself to go into champion for a minute because I feel like I'm going to lose some other players. And Liam Duggan, uh, I might... Dacos is definitely not playing, is he? There's, uh, there's no chance of that. I guess I'll just chuck him in if he's if he's laid in. Nick Haynes might be the next and only other player. I suppose Sam Taylor's there. Yeah, I'm going to have to put Sam Taylor on my bench. Um, so that's not a great back six. Right, so you really feel like this will separate the men from the boys this week as to who accumulate, accumulates the, the best finals ready team. Uh, Clayton Oliver, I have in platinum. Do I chuck him in? I suppose we'll see in a second. Let's see what midfielders I have outside the best 22. So Perryman is an option. Uh, Minagola, no. Dumont, no. Miles Bergman, uh, I suppose Taylor Adams, not a bad shout. But yeah, a lot of these players didn't play finals. Okay, still side bottom. I can crack him in. Oh, and Josh Dacos. So a few more options, which is a relief. Took Miller comes out. Tom Green's still in the team as well, which is very, very, uh, well, that's a relief. Uh, and I will have Lockie Neal on the field too. So it's not not the worst team, actually. Okay, so I've got Neal onto the field there. I've just spotted Tom Mitchell as well in there, so I need to get him. And I've also got Whitfield to consider here. This is actually a decent midfield. Let's get Lockie Whitfield. Uh, he's got 141. Okay, wait. So I accidentally hit Whitfield instead of uh, instead of Tom Mitchell there. I have to contemplate that. That's a pretty good starting midfield. Let's see what, exactly what uh, Tom Mitchell's averaging. I might have to switch them. Tom Mitchell scored 131, but his average is 104. But he was a couple of he was sub a couple of times. I don't know. I'll contemplate that one. Whitfield did have a better weeks, and all of those guys performed strongly. I don't think I need a platinum Clayton Oliver, but we will. We'll hold fire on that one. Uh, okay, Ruck. So Marshall and needs to come onto the field, and I need to find a backup Ruck. So let's find the backup Ruck first. Pitney didn't play on the weekend. Meek, no, they're not in finals. Lysett, uh, God, Grundy, probably not. Yikes. Is it going to be Darcy Cameron? I don't know if Pitney's injured or what, if he's just not getting a game. I got, I got TDK back, don't they? Sam Hayes, no, no. I think I'm going to have to go Darcy Cameron as my backup Ruck. That's not the end of the world. He's only a backup Ruck. And then Tim English comes out. Well, this would have been a lot easier for me if the Bulldogs had just made the finals. Ah, but then GWS wouldn't it? That would have hurt me too. Cool. So Marshall is a ruck with Darcy Cameron as the uh, backup. Okay, so let's have a look. So Golden is going to stay. Oscar Allen out, obviously. Rosie will stay. Taron Thomas will go, as will Ainsworth. Fisher might find his way onto the field. But let's start with replacing Taranto. And then we have to review my salary cap. Well, I've got Windhager in goal, but uh, my... Oh, wow. I actually have a pretty good uh, Mitch Owens there as well. But my... Salary cap situation is questionable, but I might need Winhager in. Uh, we got Bailey Fritch. I think he just got injured, so I'll hold fire on that one. Anyone else below Hipwood? Not a really tantalizing option, nor is Charlie Cameron, but I suppose it may come down to that. Horn Francis might come back in, as will Papley. Papley's not injured, is he? Well, he didn't play on the weekend. Let's just check how injured Tom Papley is. I'm not sure if he's injured, but I might just chuck him in. I couldn't actually find anything. Let's chuck Papley in for Taranto as a starting point. And uh, let's see who else we've got to replace. We've got to replace Oscar Allen. And he can be replaced by, I think I saw another half decent bronze in there, did I? Oh, Jason Horn Francis. That will be a no-brainer. How am I going on salary cap? Oh, I'm in champion. Oh, there is a salary cap in champion. It's just higher. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Ainsworth's got to come out. And I will put on... Do I really want to put Windhager on or Mitch Owens? Who's been better? I think Windhager's been... Um, we're just talking fantasy points here. Windhager's been getting more. Chuck in Mitch Owens. And oh, do I go them both? Surely not. Taron Thomas comes out for it's got to be a bronze player i can't afford another one hit with a charlie cameron in the final charlie cameron's probably more likely to light it up surely i'm 250 grand overspent who else can i downgrade in this team do i downgrade clayton oliver how did dylan stevens exactly go last week he's, he's scoring yeah 137 it's not really worth it is there anyone else is there anyone else burn jones do i have him already i think i do ah ah oh. There you go. No, Burn Jones into the team instead of Dylan Stevens. It might be a point hit, but how many? How much money do I have? I have another hundred thousand dollars. Does that mean that I can afford another gold player, or can I upgrade Owens to 
diamond or whatever it is or even clary to platinum do i do it it is a final this is tempting how much is it going to cost me hey okay so i think that's actually a respectable team now uh, it does rely on papley being fit but i suppose if he's not fit then fisher comes in but there we go guys i've assembled a team for the final series um which will be subject to change obviously with team news and stuff like that but we got a little bit of time before the finals i'm recording this video obviously a week early so as always i hope you're enjoying the game guys I appreciate you watching the content and getting stuck in it's been a great year for the league we will be back for the semi-finals i'll be doing another game day squad video for you so uh let me know in the comments how your team's going and how you went about uh, filling a team for the final series as always appreciate you watching and i'll see you in the next video guys Cheers.